She thought we were recording. <laughs> I clicked. What's me. up, YouTube? How's it going? Like, subscribe. Yeah, welcome back. First of all, where are my manners? Anyways, super fascinating stuff um, I have been learning about through Mr. Genius Pants over here. And basically, um, our universe is fascinating and just gorgeous and phenomenal and doesn't make any sense. And so what we're talking about today is that time slows down. First of all, like what? Like that's crazy in itself. So I'm gonna ask you little questions. So first of all, what does it take for time to slow down? In the conversation we were having, we were talking about time dilation when approaching near light speeds, which means that the faster you travel towards and approach the speed of light, which right now, as we understand it, is the universal speed limit, the fastest anything can go, then the relative time experienced is moving slower. There's a dilation to the time, which is an experiment conducted by astronauts at NASA, um, sending one of an identical set of twins to space for a year, and then having that now Congress um, running um, astronaut <clears throat> come down and run tests compared to the brother that didn't go to space and biologically determined to be younger. What the fuck? Just for moving at the speeds of the International Space Station as opposed to the speeds we experience here on Earth. So, <clears throat> if you're moving at the speed of light, well, we can't move at the speed of light. That's a whole nother topic. We can't. Matter can't. We just oh, learned. I saw you your hand. I saw your hand. It wasn't even my hand. Zoop. <laughs> okay. So, wow. <laughs> I got that. Okay. So, what we're saying here is that, so, if something is moving so fast, it actually slows down. Time slows down. It's all. But our time stays the same. What about on with in Earth? So it has to be a certain distance away from each other for this to be happening. I mean, one thing is moving away at the speed of light, or just moving at the speed of light. So if someone and was just ar going around still. the world in the speed of a rocket ship, they would stay younger than everyone else that's just on the planet. Correct. Because they're moving so fast. Correct. That's what the that International Space Station... That their matter slows down. The International Space Station goes around and sees a sunrise, sunset every 90 minutes. Which just means they're like literally flying around the Earth really fast. So if you go really, really fast, beauty tip number one, you will not age as fast. So there you have it, guys. There, that's actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> The faster you run, the less you'll age. But you just gotta more. run really, really fast. And what was the other thing? Just uh, we were just talking about that. Um, no, I just said it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. I do want to make this point though. We are talking about relative because things are measured from a relative point of view, and so. It depends on who you are. You're the guy in the spaceship moving at the speed of light, or you're the guy on Earth that is not moving at the speed of light. And what do we consider the reference default when we're comparing the other one? Because if you're the guy so what on is the, the spaceship, default? if you're the guy on the spaceship moving at the speed of light, the things- Wait, 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 oh, wait, I thought you said matter can't move, move at the speed of light. Right, right, right. I'm They're talking moving about, fast, I'm not I'm just talking speed of about light. like relative, relativeness. Okay. If you're moving really fast in the spaceship, uh -huh. and I'm talking so fast that it becomes <clears throat> actually approaching the speed of light, not like anything we have right now that doesn't get anywhere near what that speed is. Okay. Then those people would 
think that the things happening on earth are happening faster. They'd be like, they would think, who put three times fast forward on earth events? Okay. Why are they celebrating New Year's again? My clock says it's May. Right. This is the opposite. Right. So that's crazy. That is insane to me. That is just ridiculous. So good luck wrapping your mind around that one. And also that um, we were talking about... Yeah, being able to, like you said, quantify time and eternity, if you look at it like that, right? So a second to us, or like a, like your example of a two hour movie that they're watching happened over the span of six weeks, you said, on Earth. I didn't, I mean, that number was just thrown out, but there is a calculation that based on the speed you're going, how much dilation is happening in the time. Right. And so, heck, maybe there's a speed as you approach the speed of light that a two hour film could be stretched out mm -hmm. into a six hour period. Mm -hmm. But the time dilation I'm speaking about with astronauts, for example, is milliseconds. With mm -hmm. satellites, it's milliseconds. Things that we wouldn't comprehend and are not practical in our day to day, Right. Like, who cares if it's a couple milliseconds? That just means my GPS is slow. Right. Or is lagging for a second with a delay. But they did that, and he spent a year up there. So it was a year of milliseconds and came back, and there was some detectable medical um, suggestion that he was biologically younger. His so your physical at the matter end of, stopped moving as developing as fast. Your physical body. You're experiencing and the time. your whole experience. Yep, the inertia slows down the inertia makes you experience it at the relative point of view you have that is so bizarre like being in a car it's so bizarre so comment your thoughts below on that one and questions that was fun. yeah we'll be doing more of these because this stuff is fascinating and we had about three hours worth of other stuff this is just one little tiny five minutes of our last three hours of conversation so like and subscribe below, leave your comments, questions, anything about science, let's ask him guys. Bring on the questions. Whoa, All whoa, whoa. Them. Bring out Hank Green. All of them. And then we're gonna, you know, hit religion and we're gonna hit whatever else. So ask your questions, ask away. Please. Be, Please. No. About Please. politically correct politics, Help all us. the things. Ask the questions. Help ask me. the questions. <laughs>